are here in Healy, Idaho today. A town that's a couple hours outside of Boise and really close to Sun Valley, Idaho. There are a ton of things to do here if you spend a day or two. So I'm going to show you all the cool things to do here in Healy, Idaho. Haley, Idaho is popular because it's right down the road from Sun Valley, which is a ski resort. It's a destination. Really, people go for vacation. And this town kind of grew out of, it was the people who worked in Sun Valley that couldn't afford to live in Sun Valley. So it's actually become quite a nice place since then. So I'm going to show you around some of the things to do here. While we were there, we stayed at the Wood River Inn, which is one of the nicest places in town. There are a couple hotels that are pretty nice there. This one also has a great view of the mountains. We also stopped at Wise Guy Pizza, which there are a couple good restaurants in town as well. This one's pretty laid back. It has big TVs, pizza, sandwiches, beer, and some other things. The whole area was started because of the Idaho Gold Rush that happened in the mid-1800s. The city was officially founded in 1862. Haley is just about two hours from Boise and good weather. In bad weather, you can make it in about two and a half hours, especially if you go down through Twin Falls. The Sun Valley Suns are a huge deal here in Haley, and they play here at the Campion Ice Arena, so we're gonna go and watch them play tonight. It's Saturday night here in Sun Valley, it's crazy how many people are here. Sun Valley Suns are an adult team, a traveling team that also has teams come to town. They didn't play for a couple years during the pandemic and they just started again. Haley, Idaho does get a decent amount of snow. I mean, that's why people go there, mostly to go skiing. They get about 90 inches of snow every year. Well, my goal was to wake up this morning and show you this beautiful mountain, which is beautiful, but it's kind of covered by some fog because we got a lot of snow last night. You can see this is a pile of snow that they um, shoveled up just from our parking lot. So this is the rodeo grounds right here, and actually normally during the year you can actually ice skate on this during winter. I don't know if they still have that here because you can't tell because it snowed about a foot last night, but it's a really cool opportunity. It's right across from the, um, the actual rink that they have, the out indoor rink, and um, you can come just bring your skates or usually they have skates for you to rent and you can ice skate out here outside. For breakfast the next day, we stopped at Shorty's, which I would absolutely recommend. It was a cute little diner with breakfast and lunch. They do close at 3 o'clock though, so just beware. So 
So there's a couple more cool things to do in Haley that I did not do this time because we were only here for a day. However, there is a art museum, which is in an old movie theater, which is really cool. There's also the Blaine County Museum, so you can learn all about this area, kind of how it grew out of, I mean, really Hollywood brought it here because uh, Lucy and Desi, they did a show here. Uh, Ernest Hemingway lived here, a whole bunch of other stuff. So I would definitely go check out the history of the area because it's definitely very, very cool. The Sun Valley Suns also have children's leagues of all ages, both male and female. Usually if you stop by really any time of year, you're going to see either adults or kids playing in there. So as you can see, we got quite a bit of snow last night. So we're actually gonna drive home a different way today. We drove up straight through the mountains yesterday. Today we're gonna go down through Twin Falls. So if you are worried about snow, it's always a really good option because you're gonna be on the highway most of the way from Sun Valley to Boise.